There are several different methods you could use to model a painting, poster, or banner in 3D. You can achieve this look by using extrudes, 3D polygons, or NURB surfaces. But one of the simplest methods is to use image props. To create an image prop, go to Model, Create Image Prop, import an image file, and select the file that you would like to use. Once the image is selected, click Open, and the Image Prop Options dialog box appears. One of the main reasons why I prefer using image props over the other methods is with image props, you can lock the aspect ratio and don't have to worry about mapping the textures to a 3D surface. This reduces the amount of steps needed to achieve the desired look and takes away the possibility of mapping the texture incorrectly. Because we are using this image prop to display a picture on a wall, we would choose no mask for the masking options, make sure cross planes is unchecked. Depending on the look you are trying to achieve, you may or may not want to choose constant reflectivity, but for this example, we will keep it checked. Check Create Plugin Object because this will enable you to resize the image prop after creating it. Keep Auto Rotate to Viewer unchecked. And if you're going to use the same image prop multiple times within the document, then you would want to check Create Symbol. Otherwise, this option can be unchecked. And then click OK. Now that the image prop is created, we can easily create a frame for the painting by using the Extrude Along Path command. If I switch to a front or side view, I can draw a rectangle so that it's the same size as the image prop. This will be used as the path object. Next, you will need a surface object for the profile, such as a polygon. I've already taken the liberty to draw the outline of a wood frame, which is the polygon that we will use as the profile. So now we just need to select the rectangle and the polygon, go to the model menu, select Extrude Along Path. Then, using the Extrude Along Path dialog box, select the object you want to use as your path object. In this case, we'll select the rectangle and click OK. Once the Extrude Along Path is created, you will notice that it lies flat along the ground plane and will need to be rotated 90 degrees perpendicular to the ground plane in order for it to line up with the image prop. With the Extrude Along Path selected, Go to Modify, Rotate, Rotate 3D. You will want to rotate this object 90 degrees on the eye working plane and click OK. Now we can see that the frame is rotated in the correct orientation, but the image prop isn't quite aligned properly. If we switch to a front view and choose a render mode, we can see that the frame is not outlining the image prop as we would like. To correct this, double click on the Extrude Along Path object and edit the profile. By default, when creating an Extrude Along Path object, Vectorworks uses the center point of the profile object to draw the extrude. Since we drew the path to be the same size as the image prop, we know that we need to align the polyline to the left of the profile origin. To ensure that the image prop and frame are aligned properly, we can use the Align Distribute 3D command. To do this, select both objects, then go to Modify, Align, Align Distribute 3D. For this example, we want to align the X, Y, and Z centers of these objects. For X, choose Align Center, Y, Align Center, and for Z, Align Center, then click OK. Now that the objects are properly aligned, we can create a symbol out of these objects and define the insertion point to easily align it with our wall. With both objects selected, go to Modify, Create Symbol. Name the symbol, and for this case, I'm going to change my insertion point options from Plan Projection Center to Next Mouse Click so that I can define my insertion point and make sure that the back of the painting will line up with the wall. Now the painting symbol will be available through the resource browser. We can double click on the symbol and insert it into the drawing. Note that because we want the symbol to hang on the wall and not insert into the wall, 
uncheck the wall insertion mode with the symbol insertion tool. Next, enter the Z height you would like for the painting through the object info palette. Now that we have all the correct settings for the painting, let's switch to a perspective view and render the scene in Final Quality RenderWorks. As you can see here to the right, we have successfully created a 3D painting with a frame and displaying it hung on a wall.